What are you doing this weekend? I'll give you one guess. <laughs> I already know. Fallon? I have a pretty good idea. Leo? Pull tabs? Uh, that's a second. <laughs> What's my favorite, second favorite hobby other than gambling? Disney. That's right. Oh. I'm hanging with Mickey Mouse. In a, I'm leaving in about an hour from now. <laughs> I'm jealous. You better hurry up and roll the open. I better. We got to get this show going. I got to get to Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Donald, and Goofy. Still waiting for that Club 33 membership. I believe her name's Megan. Will you please call me Megan? I make a great <laughs> member. I think her name's Megan. That sounds nice. Come on, please let me in the club. I'll do anything. Well, almost anything. Uh, desperate much? <laughs> roll the open. Here we go. Have a seat. Save your energy. We have an hour. I said if I was going to do TV, because I was never not going to be myself. Where are the people who are a little bit different? You're sitting next to one on the couch. So let's just say that. Be yourself, but not too much of yourself. Now, here's Jason. Friday. Thank you. Let me fix the tie. Thank you, everybody. Welcome to the Jason Show. I'm Jace. How y'all doing? Good? Let us start with this. Uh, back there, back in the little uh, uh, cubby hole that I come out of, I was told that we have like 18 birthdays in the house today. Now, here's, now here's the deal. If I start going through all of them, it'll be a, like a combination of Romper Room and Chuck E. Cheese. So, but I will say there's one special one in the audience. We're Sandy in the front row. We're Sandy. Oh. Sandy right there. Hey, Gerg, get a shot of Sandy right there. That's Sandy. She's 27, everybody. That's right. It's Sandy's 27th birthday. How you doing? Hi, Sandy. Thank you for being here. You look so nice. Are you cold? You a little cold in here? Not really? Okay, good. Because it's like literally 37 below zero in the studio. So anyway, thank you for being here, Sandy. We're gonna, yeah. I told, I told Fallon and Stephanie Hansen, who's on the show, we have to be 37% funnier for Sandy today. So we're gonna, that's right. We're gonna try to make that happen. And it begins right now. Roll it, Leo. Let's start the show. Here we go. Filling in for Kendall, give it up for Fallon. How you doing, friend? I'm good. Okay. Let's go through this. I'm not now. Don't. Well, I'm not going to do this every time because again, it'll turn into romper room. But we have we have Sandy, Darnell, Delaney, and Sharon all <laughs> celebrating the birthdays with us today. So thank you very much. Thank you guys. Uh, as a prize, when you leave, you can pick out any car from an executive in our building. Just take whatever. Yeah. Oh, wait. What? what? They're oh, they're all off today. Oh, That's right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know. The big wigs don't work on, on Fridays. Oh, yeah, yeah. nice. Okay. We're going to start with this story. I actually have two stories. A little bit later, I had a horribly embarrassing visit to the doctor that I will tell you about a little bit later. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, that's later. But first, we're going to do a little throwback. So if you watch the show, Fallon, what day? Was this Monday or Tuesday? A Tuesday. Tuesday? Thank okay, you, Jeff. Yeah. We did a new segment called Agree or Disagree, where Jeff threw us like a relationship question, and Fallon and I debated where we stood on it. Um, so the question that rolled was, if we were, do we have it in the side, the whole thing? Here, look at this. It's okay to take an upgrade to first class on a flight, leaving your spouse in steerage. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Leo, take five. Take five. Bye. Okay. So, 
Fallon and I are both horrible people. Yeah. And we yeah. proudly said that we would leave our spouse in row 27 yeah. and take the upgrade for ourselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we did that segment, and I. It's happening today. <laughs> it's happening today. You heard in the cold open. The audience doesn't quite know how to react to this. But anyway, <laughs> we may need to turn up that heat. Anyway, uh, it happened. It's happening today on our flight to Orlando mm -hmm. in about four hours. I'm on the upgrade list, and Colin is not. <laughs> and and you're gonna take it. Are you wearing green? Yes, I'm taking it. Am I wearing green? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I am going to take it, but I just got an update. Karma has bit us in the butt, and this is going to happen to you, too. Oh, God. Because this morning, right before the radio show, I checked, and I was on the upgrade list. From the time of the radio show to this one, I got knocked down. Oh. So, so, yeah, I know. So I'm no longer, so Colin and I will both be happily mm. in steerage and I won't <laughs> cause a fight later on today okay, at good. the most magical place on earth. So, yeah. I would have taken it too. I would have been very excited. Like, have fun in the back. Yeah. yeah. I'll send you a drink back yeah, there. Yeah, the least you could do. You I'll know? send you a baby bag of sun chips. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which, by the way, yeah. can I talk? I, I know we've had a bad run in with Delta, but, but can I talk to Delta one more time? Time. What up with those sun chips? Yeah. Uh, they, I don't know. They are manufacturing these sun chips that are literally for like a Keebler elf. Yes. They're this big. You have to pull out tweezers. Yes. And then slowly let them melt on your tongue. Yeah. It's give, so tiny. It's like a wafer. Yeah, no, give us a normal bag of sun chips for <laughs> exactly. heaven's sake on these flights. Thank you. Yeah. The most. Now the uh, the most problem. reaction from the audience <laughs> comes from the sun chips. They love a harvest cheddar. They do love a harvest harvest cheddar. Let's get started. It's time for the hot dish. Roll it. Roll it, Leo. Here we go. It's already down to six women on ABC's The Golden Bachelor last night. It's going fast. I got to catch up. Anyway, last night, Gary took eight uh, women, uh, eight of the women on a group date to play pickleball. Yeah, it ended, look at this. It ended with a champagne shower for the final two. One of the bachelorettes also got some one-on-one -on -one time with Gary and shared, and she, sh look at her just sucking right out of the bottle. I'm sorry, I was distracted there. Yeah. Uh, she got some one-on-one -on -one time. Look, look oh. at this, look at this. I'm falling in love with you, Gary, and it's really hard. Mm. It's hard, I know, and and I feel it. I feel your emotion. I'm in the same place. You're gonna make me cry. Well, me too. Oh God. That's sweet, but he almost swallowed her whole. <laughs> Did you see him grab her head? Anyway, that's Ellen. We like her, bringing Gary to tears. She did get a rose, and uh, along with five others. Next week are the final dates before the hometown visits. And again, I'm going to repeat the dish that I, I saw with my own little eyes. I was doing a little jog by the Mississippi, and I saw the ABC crew mm -hmm. here in Minneapolis, and that's where one of the finalist is Leslie Fema. Yep. So I don't think ABC just arbitrarily sends camera crews. You know <laughs> what I mean? Not. I was going to ask if she is still in it because I am a couple of episodes behind. She, she is. is. Okay. Nice. She is. Good for her. I liked her. So. There is nothing worse than like a bad kiss like that when you're just oh like gosh. the person just like swallows you whole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like yeah. a little anaconda. Was your first kiss with Colin dreamy? Yeah, 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 I mean, oh, I shouldn't say it like that, but yeah, yeah, no, no, it was great, Fallon, it was great, I'm already in trouble, let's not make it worse, yes, it was great, I had, the reason I acted like that, I, I, re, I was wondering which, where it was, I'm digging myself out of the hole, let's get in, let's move on before the divorce attorney is called. It's going to be a long flight to Orlando. <laughs> anyway, next, with the actor strike still going in Hollywood, a new warning. This is so, I don't know. There's a new warning going out for all actors. It's like the bat signal when it comes to Halloween. I, this is a little weird. The union is telling actors that are on strike not to wear any costumes related to characters from TVs, TV shows or movies 
that are made by the major studios who they're striking against. So that would include, you know, like things like Barbie or Wednesday Adams, like, you know, those two examples there. Instead, striking actors are being encouraged if they're going to dress up at all to wear typical Halloween costumes, like a witch or a bear or a ghost. <laughs> okay. What? Okay. Well, in response, Ryan Reynolds tweeted this. I look forward to screaming scab at my eight-year-old all night long. She's not in the union, but she needs to learn. That's right. Nice. I, out of all the things yeah. for them to be worried about, like, I'm on their side, right. but really? Yeah, let's put our energy into something more important, maybe. I, if yeah. you're going to dress up, okay, I yeah. know. Everything makes one of those corporations money, no matter what you do. Exactly. I, I don't know. And again, I'm going to say it for the eighth time this week. We still need to figure out what I we're going to be for Halloween. Well, we can be a ghost or a bear. Or a witch. Or a witch. Yeah, yeah either perfect. one. Yeah. We're going to take a break. Go get some more Senka. We'll be back right after this. Back in a moment, everybody. By the way, uh, good news in that commercial break, Sandy and I got engaged. Oh, just in case congrats. Congrats. <laughs> we took Congrats. We took our engagement photo. It was great. <laughs> Singer, uh, welcome back to the show. Singer and rapper, ba there's my wife right there. There's my fiance right there. Singer and rapper Bad Bunny is pulling double duty this weekend. Bad Bunny is going to host and be the musical guest on Saturday Night Live. But he, uh, before that, he hit up the Tonight Show to do some publicity. Look. musical guest on Saturday Night Live. Double duty. Double went. Double down. Double, double down. Man, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. How does it feel, though, going in? Have you got some funny sketches? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I need to sleep. <laughs> I've been enjoying the process. All the cast, the producer, the writers. The, 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 the vibe is, is a very cool vibe, so I'm... I'm I'm grateful and I'm oh. very excited about this Saturday. Yeah, Saturday? And we, we, yeah. this Saturday, a couple of the yeah. uh, We're already getting the word down that everyone loves you up there and you're just like, dude, he's the nicest guy. Everyone's freaking out and they're like, it's a great, funny show. So, congrats. We'll all be tal bueno, No, it'll be great. <laughs> it'll be good. It'll be good. So, Yesterday, Mr. Bunny also announced a world, a new world tour. So, have you uh, met him? I have not, but he's coming to the Twin Cities. It's going to be insane. He has such a huge, like, fan base. So popular. I That'll just love, nice. I want to mm -hmm. know, if you ever interview him, because if you guys don't know, Fallon is a insanely popular uh, uh, radio host, broadcaster oh, here in the Twin okay. Top 40 station. Okay. KDWB. Um, if you ever meet him, will you ask him where the name? I want to know how he came up with Bad, Bad Bunny. Bunny. Yeah, okay, I will. I'm sure will someone will email me. Yes. With it. Yeah. They'll be like, here is a link to where he addressed this. Exactly. Right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. More hot dish. Let's stick with Saturday Night Live. It turns out no one on the cast knew that Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey would be making that surprise appearance on the season premiere last weekend. Nobody knew. Cast member Bowen Yang joined uh, Kelly Clarkson yesterday on the Kelly Clarkson Show, and they talked about the surprise. Look at this. It was so wild. We didn't expect them to come. I round the corner. They're at the page desk, and it's like, I'm like, oh, there's two of the tallest people I've ever seen. Who are they? Right. Who is that? I was like, I was like in the Redwood Forest or something. <laughs> Yes, yes. And then I was like, oh my goodness, wow, it's them. Okay, they're here. And it was it was wild. Well, yeah. All the famous people you would meet. Yeah. In Studio 6A, Yang says he's a definite Swifty and saw Taylor in concert this summer like half of humanity. Oh yeah. So have you heard the rumor about the Taylor Swift ride at Disney? What? My friend Harry sent me a video today. Now, I don't know if it's true, but there is a rumor that there will be a Taylor Swift ride coming to Disney, like the Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railroad, like that kind of ride, where you get in a guitar and it takes you through her various eras. Oh. That's the rumor. 
I know Harry doesn't drink, but I think he was drunk when he said that to you. I'll I know. show you the video. No, that's I never don't. happening. <laughs> that's never, ever, ever happening. If Disney was smart, it would, because that is a, she's a guaranteed moneymaker. But did you hear what you said? You're going to ride in a guitar. Well, like in the Mickey and Minnie ride in the railway. You right, yeah. Right. It's like, it's like a combo of the Mickey and Minnie railway no. and the rock and roller coaster. No. Through the eras. And then cash no. money. No. I bet you right now, you ready? Yeah. I bet you a hundred dollars. Wait, how long does do we have for this to How long should we make this bet? Until she's until her balance done. No, you gotta give her longer. Six months. Six months. That they at least announce it. That they announce it. A hundred dollars that they will not announce that. It could be at the end of her tour, though. Uh-uh. Okay. Not, not okay. happening. Not happening. Next up, you've heard me mention my weeknight routine of dinner, watching Wheel of Fortune, and then going to bed. Uh, but I missed what many are calling <laughs> the wor one of the, wor the worst guests in Wheel of Fortune history this week. That's hard to say. There's been a lot of bad ones. <laughs> it happened in a game featuring three former NFL stars. Let's look at this together. I wish I could help. I really do. But if why well, you can buy some time by spending the money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sure. yeah. Six hundred. P. No. No. I'm sorry. No. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's Rashad Jennings, who I like. <laughs> Obviously, has no idea who. Quentin Tarantino right. is not Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> he only, as you can see, Rashad only had one letter left in the puzzle, oh my but gosh. picked a P instead of a Q. Mm. Uh, he's a former NFL running back, and he also won Dancing with the Stars. Oh my goodness! I just, I think it's a lot of pressure when you're there. Fallon. <laughs> I say that because I could like literally see myself doing something that stupid and being like, oh. Okay, yeah, I yeah. would say that if it was like. No, you're right. <laughs> Susie, Susie from Seattle. Yes, you know what I mean? You don't like know she, Susie. But we're, they've all been in front of cameras before. It's true. It's true. They know that pressure. And they know everyone's heard the name Quentin Tarantino. Everyone yeah, has. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Next in the dish, if you had to pick the greatest pop songs of all time, what would it be? What would be a song on your list? It sounds like an impossible task, but the staff, now this isn't one of those crappy lists from like turtle.com. This is from <laughs> billboard.com and they were up for this challenge. In honor of the Billboard Hot 100's 65th anniversary, the staff there at Billboard ranked the 500 greatest pop songs oh. since 1958. And for and for the rest of the hour, we're going to go through all 500. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Hanson, your segment's canceled. Sorry about that. No, we're going to go through a, front, a, a few of them. Let's start with the top 10. Uh, at number 10, I want to hold your hand by the Beatles. Audience, you can boo or clap if you agree with that, okay? Number nine, California Love by Tupac and Dr. Dre. Okay. okay. Number eight was a big discussion in our office today. Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen. It's so catchy. Mixed, mixed. So catchy. Yeah. So catchy, though, audience. Very catchy. Number seven, Billy Jean by Michael Jackson. I got it out. That could actually be... That could be a scotch hire. It could be. Uh, number six, Like a Prayer by Madonna. Yeah. Okay, now let's get to the top five, starting with this song from 2004. Yep. Miss Kelly Clarkson. Billboard calls this song timeless, timeless. Uh, and just think about this, everybody. That Kelly Clarkson song is higher than Madonna. Yeah. And, if and Michael Jackson. Well, yeah. and if memory serves me right, I think she told Howard Stern, I didn't Clive Davis not want her to do that song? Yeah. That she, they, mm -hmm. the record company did not want that song. Anyway, let's move on uh, to number four. Tell me why. Yeah. 
always call the song silly, silly and epic at the same time. I know we can laugh, but the entire audience knows the song. It's at ballparks. I, I'm, yeah. Okay. Number three is the oldest song in the top five of Billboard's all-time pop songs. This one comes from 1964. That's right. Temptations, so good, so very good. By the way, um, Sandy and I are going to dance to that at our engagement party. Aww. That's going to be uh, you know. okay. Let's move on to number two. Look at this. This had to be up there. Oh, yeah. So, Billboard calls ABBA's Dancing Queen a soaring anthem that transcends disco. I mean, it's it's also my nickname in junior high. So, yeah, it was also. Audience doesn't Dancing know whether to laugh queen? at that one, but Dancing that's fine. Queen. <laughs> okay. okay. No, that, that seems appropriate. I agree, yeah. I like that there's been a mix of kind of current and older, because usually when they do lists like this, they do only do older. All and contemporary. Like, yeah, come on. Or, or older, or, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Think I'm just gonna give everybody a second. See if you put in your mind what you think is number one. Just hold it in your mind. Here is the number one pop song. I love that the audience is actually doing that. They they're are. all they're, yeah. they're talking amongst themselves. I love it. Here is the number one song, pop song of all time. Roll it, Leo. Oh. Argument here, Whitney yeah. Houston's "I Want to Dance with Somebody" is called the perfect pop song that will last lifetimes, without a doubt. That was after Jake and I did the kiss, and we walk out. That's the song we walk back out to. Oh, really? A little Whitney Houston action. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. That's how you knew it was gonna be a party. That's yeah, yeah. That's that, that and all the Costco booze we had set up. <laughs> so. Yeah. Everybody gets Kirkland. Yeah. That's right. Okay, let me go through others on the list. Number 15 was Fantasy by Mariah Carey. Beyonce cracked at number 18 with Crazy in Love. Adele, number 30 with Rolling in the Deep. Taylor Swift only made 42 Whoa. with You Belong With Me. I wouldn't have even chosen that as her top pop song, probably. What would I, you pick? I probably would pick, like, Shake It Off, just because it's more, like, poppy? catchy, poppy than You Belong With Me. But, yeah. yeah. I love Shake It Off. Yeah. That is a good one. Yeah. Uh, it's time now to meet our last JVIP of the week. Today, it's Nancy Bovey from Pine City. She says she's, the show is fun to watch. We love that. Thank you, Nance. Everyone on the show is great. There's no politics. She loves the surprise goodbye and costumes on Halloween. Oh, great, Nancy. Thanks for the pressure. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful, Nancy. You got to get with it, Fallon. I know. Nancy's going to get a Jason Show mug. Also entered to win the monthly grand prize. That includes being a VIP guest in the audience. A $150 gift card to our beautiful friends. We love them. Becker Furniture World. Or Becker Furniture. Becker Furniture. And a $250 gift certificate to Renew Med Spa. Nailed it. We love <laughs> Becker Furniture has been a longtime partner of ours, and we appreciate it. Well, thank you for ooing Becker. I appreciate that. <laughs> We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after this. Back in a moment. We love them. Don't forget, if you want to be in our audience, go to eventbrite.com. Look at that shot. What's wrong oh. with that shot? Oh, I'm in it. <laughs> per usual. Every time. <laughs> When it comes to the holidays, uh, this one is Stephanie Hansen's favorite. No, I'm not talking about uh, that other holiday in October, you know, Halloween. Stephanie is all about Croctober. Right. Here with another delicious recipe for the slow cooker <laughs> is the Emmy-winning host of Taste Buds, <laughs> Stephanie Hansen. Hi, buddy. Hi. 
Yeah, you guys. I got your paperwork, by the way, from your agent. We now have to always refer to you as Emmy winner I Stephanie like it. Hansen. I yeah. like it. Yeah. You guys, so Croctober, like, yeah. it's the high holiday of food. <laughs> it's right between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay? I, all month long, every day, I've had a Crock-Pot recipe. I snuck in some Instant Pot recipes because your Instant Pot is also what? A Crock-Pot. A crock pot. Pot. Yes. Yes. So if you're one of those people that has limited space, just go with your Instant Pot. Um, this looks very fun. Let me guess what we're making. Are you ready? Yeah. Walking tacos. Yes. We are making walking tacos. Okay. When you're thinking about recipes to make in a crock pot, there are so many that are just gross. <laughs> like, <laughs> put a can of this cheesy soup and this, like, cream of coconut and this cream of chicken. Like, so many processed things. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to just find something that is reasonably good, reasonably healthy, and that kids would like. And also, if you've got trick-or-treating happening and you've got, like, kids coming over, this is a perfect one to do that. I know you're not having kids come over to your house. No, no but I just, okay. people gather in groups in the neighborhood and oh, go to okay. the together. I just don't know if I want little Timmy coming up and me going, here's a Dorito no. bag, <laughs> you know, of uh, taco meat. You know what I mean? I don't Clearly a man who lives in an apartment that would even think that was a choice. I don't know. I, I don't love know. it. Okay, what, what do we need? Okay, first I want to also point out um, the cameraman noticed. Ca they have camera vintage, five, look right there. Okay, they have vintage taco Dorito packages back. Those are, uh, yeah, from like, the 80s and 70s. Yeah, yeah, that was totally my jam, so okay. I was excited about that. Okay. So what do we need? Over here is our completed cracked dish, but we're going to make a pretend one like we were doing this. So the only thing that is not so great about this dish health-wise, I do put a whole package of Doritos in there, okay? That's the good part. Just don't let that bother what? you. Why is that under the category of bad? Well, yeah. because it's processed food, right? It kind of goes against my wishes, but I got to do what I got to um, do. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We have a can of black beans. And also, when you're cooking with beans, get rid of the aquafaba. <laughs> that is the gross, slimy bean juice. Oh. Translation. Aquafava? Aquafava. Okay, get rid of the aquafava. Get rid of the aquafava. Rinse them off. I always rinse the beans. You can rinse. Yeah. You don't even have to rinse, but pour out that gooey part. Got it. Okay, so we have kidney beans. We had black beans. What else would you put in a taco? Pinto. Pinto beans. I love pinto beans. All right. We're going to put a little, like, green diced chilies. These aren't hot. They're okay. just flavor. We're going to put a little Rotel, like the world's secret weapon of food. Rotel? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Rotel are the best. Okay. Okay, and we're just like putting this all on top of our bag of Dorito chips. And now, then? we are just going to put a little enchilada sauce all over the whole thing. Now, I'm noticing, is this, on, you are not mixing. No, I'm layering. That's on purpose. It is on purpose. Okay. Yep. No, I just want to ask because I didn't Good know. Good okay. observation, Thank you. friend. Thank okay. You. Okay. Then I'm putting paprika, I'm putting cumin, I'm putting chili powder. <laughs> Those are the imaginary spices that I forgot. <laughs> but you didn't see that. You're just going along. So you just <laughs> admitted that. You just pulled the curtain way well, back. Well, because yeah. I saw your eyes going, what is she doing? You yeah. were going to tell on me anyway. Hold. They just took your Emmy away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is kind of a wonder. I'm not going to lie. Okay, green onions. Okay. You can put white onions, whatever kind of onions you want. Again, layer, layer, layer. Yep, layer on the top. Okay. okay so just like kind of smooth like uh, Smush it down. We're going to put our lid on. I am so excited for this. And we're going to put it on low for four hours. This, and again, this isn't an instant pot recipe. No, it's a slow cooker. So slow we're cooker. just now imagining, wah, 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 the slow cooker is on. Okay, four hours four has hours. gone by. Yes. It is now like two o'clock. Okay. Here is our layered dish. Oh my God. We have our, we're going to stir it. We have our Doritos that are in the bottom that are basically creating like a masa almost that's already seasoned in like a delicious taco form. Yeah, okay? the, the Doritos are gone. A hundred percent. Now, let's say you were going to put this in a bowl. Okay. You could do that. You could make a burrito. We're going to make you, I'm going to make you just a little bowl so we can see it. 
Okay. See what it looks like? Because you're thinking like, oh my gosh, what is this going to look like? Yeah, I a am. Little green kinda. onions, a little cilantro, a little cheese. While you I like eat, sour cream? I do. A little okay. bit, please. While I eat that, will you describe like yes. what would you normally do, not for television? So you would hand kids or yourself either a bag, you'd crumple them up, and you would just put like a half a cup to a third a cup of filling right inside your bag. Then you're going to put like, oh, I want a little cheese in my bag. Oh, I want a little onions in my bag. You can have all these little fixings out. You could put jalapenos. In your bag. In your bag. Yeah. Okay. Mm. This is like the easiest thing Stuff. ever. Kids can leave your house and walk with it. If okay. you're going I, to a Again, I don't know event. if that's a good idea. I yes, don't know. I, I don't They're know fine. if that's a good idea, but. They're fine. I can't see little Timmy walking around like that. I you know can. what I mean? This, okay, Hanson, this good. is so good. I know. This is so good. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. This recipe and all of Stephanie's recipes, including her Croctober recipes, are available at stephaniesdish.com. And be sure to stream Stephanie's show, Taste Buds. It's available now if you download the Fox Local app or stream on your smart TV or streaming device. When we come back, an unfortunate trip to the doctor. Oh. Next. Next. Mm. It's really good. Join here on the couch for story time. <laughs> I feel uh, like we should hold hands. I know we should. Yeah, there we go. Oh. I'm joined by my friends Fallon and Stephanie. So um, I have a story uh, to share that's embarrassing, so you'll love it. Um, now let me ask you just to just and go ahead and clap. How many absolutely hates when their spouse is right about something? Right? I mean, in your yeah. <laughs> I would get a better audience know, reaction yeah. from that, but More supportive this might be a horrible they're idea. They're not us. They're not, yeah. <laughs> anyway, but you know what I mean when they kind of rub it in and they're always right and you're like, oh God, they're right again. Mm -hmm. Here we go. For about six months, <laughs> I can't look at you two when I tell you this. <laughs> For about six to seven months, I thought, I felt like a lump or something on my side. Like I felt like, oh, oh God, my right, like right here. I thought that there was like something right there. And I, I forgot, you know, like, like a lot of guys stereotypically go, oh, I'm not going to go to the doctor. Um, I don't know what that <laughs> voice was, but anyway. Big smoker, and that guy. So finally, and when I, I am, I'm a side sleeper, fun fact from Jason, and I, when I lay on that side, I'm sometimes aware of it. So I'm like, God, I, I'm going to go to Dr. Decker, my, my fabulous doctor. So I go in there, yes, and Colin, on vacation in August, Colin, I'm standing there in my bathing suit, and Colin goes, I don't see anything. And he goes, and here, I don't feel anything. <laughs> he goes, it feels just like your left side. And I go, no, I, I, I feel it. I know my body. <laughs> so I go to the doctor. I go to the doctor yesterday. And doctor walks in. He goes, hi, Jace. What, what's, what can I do for you? It looks like you have a mass or a lump uh, that you want to get checked out. And I go, yeah, doctor. Um, <laughs> I think it's something, and when I lay on it, I can feel it. He goes, okay, lay back and lift up your shirt. So I'm on the bed, uh -huh. and he's going, like, he's rubbing my belly, and he's like, does this hurt? And I go, no. Then he goes, he goes, does this hurt? No. And he goes, okay, now roll on your left side. And he's rubbing where the, the mass is. <laughs> and he's like, okay, okay. And he goes, go ahead and sit up, Jace. And I sat up. He goes, um, well, here's what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> That's your rib. <laughs> you have a... He said, um, there's no mass, there's no lipoma, there's no gremlin. I've had a lipoma yeah, or yeah, two. Yeah, and I said, God. it's... He goes, Jason, what you're feeling is the rib. And I said, there's a rib right there? And he goes, yeah. And I go, oh, doctor. And he goes, why? He goes... This, you're the first patient ever that looks upset <laughs> that there's nothing there. And I go, could you please just write on a piece of paper that it could be something? So, because I don't want to go home now. I don't want to face, I don't want to face Colin mm -hmm. and say that it was it's my, my rib. rib. It's my rib. So, I'm fine. So, there's the good news. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything except a, a rib. <laughs>
What, did, what did Colin say? And how could you not know it was your rib? I don't need your shaming. <laughs> I, I, I mean, did. don't you touch yourself sometimes? <laughs> well, that, save that clip. That's story time number two. <laughs> no. But, no, I do, but I just thought it was something and it was just okay. my rib and I right. I wasn't I don't want to make you feel bad no. that you thought your rib was a lump <laughs> no. no ask Fallon Indiana Public Education yeah. we didn't have anatomy did you no. go to Indiana too? I did yes. yeah. Okay. Yeah. anyway so I'm here to tell you Leo go ahead and take camera five my spouse was right <laughs> We'll be right back. Back in a moment, everybody. I do back feel that. Moment. I know. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm like right in the middle of these two gentlemen right there. It's like a... <laughs> We, uh, welcome back. It's Friday and we want to keep the good vibes going. I think one of the things uh, that you guys like about the show, I just read an email, is we try to be just goofy and fun and positive and no politics and nothing bad because there's enough bad stuff going on in the world. So on Fridays, every now and then, we're going to go into the audience and find out not what drives you crazy, but what is making folks happy today. Yep. <laughs> Celebrating. Celebrating the positive things in life, and I'm going to start. I, I just want to. I'm full of gratitude because, as you said, as you saw at the beginning of the show, we have like a ton of birthdays in the audience today. We have my lovely friend over here. Happy birthday, love. Happy birthday. We're going to get a picture, and then. <laughs> <laughs> Gerd, can you get a shot of my friend here in the second row? Now, this is, this is Danell, uh, but Aaron Schwab wrote Darnell on the sheet. So, and Danell also wins the prize for the most Jason Show merch ever worn. <laughs> We got can we Aaron Aaron why don't, why don't we get her a beach towel or something too from the show yeah uh, but no I'm grateful uh, I'm grateful to our audience okay where's Bryce let's get this going hi Bryce how are you Good. give it up for Bryce everybody <laughs> Bryce my friend what's making you happy today we recently got a beagle puppy that we named bagel oh let me see oh how you how, how old I think she's about four months Four. Oh my god look at that dog I wish I can we? Well, I know. I'm, I'm looking at the dog first. Can we, Leo? Can you zoom in on that? Look at that little. No. Uh, well, you know. Oh, wow. Super zoom. Super zoom. Okay, we're we're forget it. There we go. That's as far. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Have fun. Have fun with that potty training. There. Where's my buddy Ruby? Ruby, where are you? Give it up for Ruby, everybody. Hi, Ruby. Hey. <laughs> You've been here before. Yes, I have. Ruby, what's making you happy? Being here while my wife is backpacking the SHT. Oh! <laughs> I'm glad you're here, too. I, I would, yeah, yeah. I'm not. Backpack, no, I'm not. No, a, we're no. indoorsy people, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, we yeah. are. Thank you. Thank you, Ruby. Thank you, Ruby. Backpacking, no. Okay, where's Tara? Tara? Or is it Tara or Tara? Tara? <laughs> I shake your hand. You can't, but what's on your shirt? <laughs> is that? This is my man and me. <laughs> okay, now can we get a good shot, girl? Get a good shot of the t-shirt. Look at that right there. What's making you happy, my friend? Uh, girls' night out tonight. Oh! Absolutely. Uh, so what are we talking? We talking like a dance club? We talking a bar? What are we talking about girls' night? What are we doing? We can't disclose that. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't tell anybody either. Good luck. Good luck. I love you. Girls and I, I can't, we can't disclose that location. She ain't dumb. She's not telling us where she's going. Uh, where's Sandy? Where's Sandy? Sandy? Oh, my Sandy. Hi, Sandy. You, 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 you just stay right there. You take the mic. What's oh. made, what's made, I've already made you get up 50 times already. Yeah. What's making you happy, my love? Well, my two daughters and my son-in-law kidnapped me this morning for an outing. Had no idea. <laughs> and, and when I, we drove and drove and drove and I saw Fox 9 and I, I said, oh, Jason? <laughs> Tell you? No, I 
didn't know where it was. Oh, my goodness. It's the best surprise that Get her a beach doll, too. <laughs> thank you, Sam. Oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Well, we've had a lot of people just jumping in vehicles and driving here this week. That's right. Let's, uh, where's Delaney? Where's Delaney? Hi, Delaney. Give it up. Come on down here. Hi. Give it up for Delaney. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. What's making you happy? All the gorgeous fall foliage we're having here in Minnesota this week. I'm really excited about it. Beautiful. Do you like fall? I love fall. Isn't fall the best? Yes, I'm a fall girl. Do you like pumpkin spice stuff? I love it. Mm. Sorry, Jason. I know. I'm a I, fall girl. Okay. <laughs> All I'm going to tell you is watch Monday show. Uh, we tested some pumpkin flavored stuff. Doesn't go well. Oh, I'm just no. telling you. There we go. Thank you, Delaney. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks to that audience. A happy birthday to all the folks celebrating. We're going to take a break. The surprise goodbye and more when we return. Back after this. Hey, my love. Get out of camera. They wheel off the box, and he brings out the box, and I hear a woman in the audience go, oh, what's that? It's, a, it's, Fallon's, it's my box. It's Fallon's Math Chick standing box. I helped you out there. Thank that. you. You're welcome. Yep, I yep. love you. It's time for the world's shortest segment. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's the, it's the ultimate gift for people who love to cook. Look at this. Costco is selling a 157-piece set of Le Creuset. Is that? Yeah. Yeah, Le Creuset. Uh, cookware, bakeware, serving plates, and utensils. Basically, it's everything you need to set up your kitchen. It doesn't come cheap, though. The set is just under $4,500. You do not have to bring it home yourself, so this is so big, it arrives at your doorstep on a pallet. Oh, my gosh. Here's what it looks like. Costco says the customer can keep the pallet as well, and I think it's sold out. I think it's oh, sold out. Oh, wow. We'll be right back with a surprise goodbye. Back in a moment. It is time for the surprise goodbye. You know how this works. We don't know what's in this segment until I read the teleprompter right now. Today, crazy video out of Montana. Whatever you're doing, come back to the television. Big piles of tumbleweeds buried homes and sidewalks after strong winds hit Great Falls, Montana. Wind speeds reached up to 95 miles an hour, blowing all, oh my goodness! Blowing all the tumbleweeds into town. Just imagine coming home from work and seeing that. Oh my God. Oh my. My goodness. No. Can you? How do you even move? Well, I mean, you just, yeah, I mean, just pick it up. They don't have like little burrs or anything on there, but oh no. And there's probably critters hiding in there. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Do they are. have tumbleweed plow trucks like we do in Minnesota for <laughs> they snow? Do. To bring it out? Yeah. They have their version of MnDOT removing uh, tumbleweeds. <laughs> oh my goodness. So uh, uh, the weekend is here mm -hmm. and. No upgrade, and um, nope. I will be married, hopefully, still Monday. <laughs> Monday, you that's right. You can do it. You can I make can it do through it, the weekend, yeah. yeah. Hey, I mentioned it to, to our friend up there. Monday on the show, you don't want to miss our new segment, our very first fast food field trip. <laughs> Executive producer <laughs> Jeff and photographer Eric and I, we get into uh, a vehicle, and we are w going around to different fast food joints trying new items, and it goes about as well as you think it's going to go. <laughs> uh, that is coming up on Monday. Let's just say, yeah. Anyway, that's Monday. But right now, that's going to do it for us today and this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you're a kid watching the show and you're being bullied, you go out there and be yourself because nobody can tell you you're doing it wrong. Have a fantastic weekend. Be safe. Don't drive slow in the left lane. And we'll see you Monday.